I applied a little eye primer to the lid first before applying any other colour and then I'm going to use this paint pot, it's in the colour Rollican by MAC, it's a pretty old one but any kind of blue or greeny based paint pot will do, blue preferably. And I'm just going to apply that to the lid. Um, this is just going to act as a base for our next colour. Next I'm going to use this intense, intense blue pigment by Stargazer and it's in the colour um, 35, it's one of their eye dusts. So I'm going to apply that with the same brush that I used to apply my paint pot because it's going to be a little bit sticky so it'll help to stop that product falling everywhere. And of course it's always a good idea to do your eyes before doing your foundation when you're doing these kind of looks. Just so you can allow for a bit of a mess. And just pat that all over. Next I'm going to get another matte colour. This is Gesso which is just a plain white. And I'm going to apply that to the brow area with just a regular eyeshadow brush. It's not really that important which one you use. Okay, next I'm going to pick up this very similar colour to the eye dust and this is Clarity by MAC. So it's just a very matte, strong um, strong blue and I'm going to use that to blend that crease out a wee bit. So it almost just looks like the colour on the lid is blending out to nothing. And I'm just going to pick up a clean blending brush with a little bit of that white on top and use that to blend the edge. Next I'm going to use another MAC colour and this is Contrast which is this beautiful kind of slightly iridescent navy colour. Really beautiful deep deep navy blue and I'm just going to use that in the crease area again. And just run that back and forth. I'm going to go back in with the blending brush I used to apply the clarity and use that around the edge of that. So you should have a pretty seamless blend all the way through. Now I'm going to pick up a colour from my Urban Decay Black Palette and this is this guy here. So it's in Sabbath. So another beautiful iridescent blue colour. Not quite as dark as the um, contrast though. And I'm going to pick up some of that with that first brush I used, it's not really that important. I'm just going to apply that to the inner corner and then apply it to the outer corner. And then I'm just going to use my blending brush and tap around the lines where they meet. At this stage you can clean away any fallout because it's bound to be a good bit when you're using very, very loose colours. And I'm just going to blend in here on the inner corner a wee bit as well. I'm just going to pick up a purple cream eyeshadow. This is Makeup Forever's Flash Colour in number 22. Um, I love this purple. It's just a nice light, kind of lilac-y, lavender-y purple. I'm going to use that to line my top waterline. Just flick it up a wee bit there towards the end. And I'm just going to line underneath my lower lash line as well. And I'm just going to do another line but slightly underneath where I drew the first one. And it's going to be underneath where that shadow ends. Just like so. If you really need this to last all night or for a long, long time during the day, make sure you use something that's a little bit maybe more um, smudge proof than this. So I'm going to pick up some more of that blue from the Urban Decay Black Palette. And I'm actually just going to use that to line my waterline. So if you're a contact, top contact lens wearer, be very, very careful that this doesn't get into your eye as it could get caught underneath your contacts. And also if you're particularly sensitive, maybe stick to a pencil. Okay, so once you have roughly something like that done, you can now apply a wee bit of mascara. So I'm just going to apply a little bit to top lashes only. 
Then apply a little bit of undry concealer once you've cleaned away any fallout. I like to smudge that line a teeny weeny bit underneath the eye as well, just so it's not so liney. And then to finish off, just groom your eyebrows. So basically brush the hairs into place. And I'm going to apply a little bit of wax from this sleek palette using a flat brush just to give a little bit more shape and definition to the brows. And that's you finished. So that's a really kind of quick enough, simple, but effective party eye look. And I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for being guys. Salon!